you know, I didn't really see a lot of people talk about it other than that they were like, oh, it's another Overwatch clone. Yeah. And that's not a good thing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> You no. don't want that. It's, good it's not a good connotation to have for your game. It's, when like, I it's played, just a rip-off version of something. When I played with uh, uh, Phoenix and uh, Rue, I actually enjoyed the game. And honestly, and I'm just keeping it real, I, this was a game that I, because I do have a PS5, this is a game I was going to add to my library. Um, I'm kind of, and I actually enjoyed watching the streamers stream this. I watch guys play this. I watch them work as a team and having fun. Um yeah, this is sad. This is really you know, this, this sucks. I don't disagree, yeah. but you have a PlayStation, right? Did you buy it on release? Because I know Rue didn't. Did you buy it on no, release? No, no, no. So what? So what I got? Um, I did the the test. So I did play the 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 beta mm-hmm. test, and um, and I played with Rue and I played with Phoenix. And at first, it was a little uh, intimidating because I was getting beat. But then Rue and Phoenix. Uh, rallied us and to a way that we could play as a team, and it was really fun. It, it but it made me think about Overwatch and um and uh, Battle something something. A lot of games that I played in the past, it brought back those games. Mm-hmm. But I will agree, uh, it 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 does seem kind of like an Overwatch kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. But this was not a bad game. You know, there's a difference between this game and Redfall. Redfall was you could not play the AI was so bad that you could not play the game. The game was horrendous with all kinds of bugs. This game on day one worked and it worked perfect. And um, it's just I I wish they just made it free. If they made it free, I would play it. And if they had other characters and I could spend money on the characters or upgrades, I would spend the money on the upgrades and uh, certain stuff to keep this game alive if they made it free. Well, from what we've heard, it's not a day before scenario. It's more like a multiversus where the game isn't dead. The IP isn't dead. They spent too much money. They've invested into it. And and as Rue right. brought up when he first prefaced it, this game, uh, the developers have heard the the complaints and, and they're working to address it. So who know, we're all kind of expecting at this point to see it come back as a free-to-play or at least attached to PS Plus, right? We're all expecting that for, um, for a bare minimum of this game. So I do hope that we see it in the near future i hope when we can, see it again I, it it costs less yeah go for it do you, do you think this game should have came out with a black myth wound out there with uh all these other games that are coming out and people are playing you maybe mean, yeah, with the this timing, is just yes. the wrong time to launch I, was I this a bad time to launch this issue. game although timing is a bit of the issue because you're right in the call of duty season and people who play and rivals are pre-orders and rivals. Rivals, rivals, I think what I'm you should have done it, was hold, held it to a February release, and you should have done what the market wanted, and that's free to play with the option to purchase a battle pass. Like that's again, what the February, market is. That, we all keep talking about how next I, I year think, is jam packed. Would February have been better for them? Because we t- we keep talking January. about January. January is always maybe. empty. But this year has been a well, jump pack year. We keep uh, not this listen, year. Uh, next year. Listen, year, listen. They failed. They, dead, so. they they failed to sell the game to their own demographic, to their own customers. They weren't interested. So what are you yeah. going to do? What are you going to do at that point? Yeah, I'm not trying to hit on Rue or Ray at all. But these are two people who loved the game, who enjoyed it, and didn't buy it on launch. So what does that say about it? It wasn't, in my eyes, that really bluntly says it wasn't worth its money. It wasn't worth its price tag. That's what that says very bluntly. I um, also don't so, play PvP in my spare time. So that's true. That is true. Yeah, but I'm you had d- friends not... who were getting into this, right? It could have been something you jumped on the bandwagon of, especially. And I would have. I think I should have it's got a... it with my PS Plus subscription. Yes, honestly, yeah. I it's feel a like finite. A that's where it's it a been. finite. It's a finite number of players that even play that type of game, and the market is oversaturated for said type of game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 100%. Um, for me, it was a miss. I, I think, and like, and when that's. They... Sorry, go maker. So I was yeah. saying earlier, I know in your 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 PlayStation stream that that they when they saw the numbers for um, the beta, really that should have been a like because like you had like months, it was it's been over a month since the beta uh, that you could just be 
okay, we're not seeing the numbers that we want. We're going to reevaluate this game and try and push it out in a way that people people will come back to this game or will they'll play this game. But they didn't do that. And I, I think that's a big mistake on, on PlayStation's part because now they're in an uphill battle because launch and it was just such a failure, like on launch as well. So like, <laughs> it's going to be tough. They're, they're going to have to do a lot to really change people's perspective. Yeah, say, though, and I, yeah. Sorry, what go. game is this? Hey, Joe. Hey, uh-huh. we're talking about Concord here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured as much. <laughs> I was going to say, I would love to see it when it comes back be free to play. And I'm, I'm not expecting this. I'm just throwing this out there. I'd love to see it as a cross player to Xbox as well. I mean, it could it could survive better if it wasn't locked to PlayStation, right? Here's but what I think has got to be difficult, too. And it would be nice if it was cross-play, bringing more players, bringing more population. That's what's best yeah. for these types of games. Agreed. Yeah. But when you design a game eight years in the past, it's hard to hit the target eight years in the future. And I think they designed the game with a certain plan. They were going to charge X amount of money. They were going to be just like Overwatch. But the market had moved so much since that time and they didn't make the proper readjustments in their business plan to uh, to really respond to that. So unfortunately, that's where Concord's left. Hopefully they can uh, do some regroup. And that's the one thing you can never do is count Sony out. Um, let's hope that they can reinvent this one. Uh, anybody else want to comment on Concord? Let's see who else. Joe, did in. you play any at all when it was on beta or... I know you're not a PlayStation guy, are you, Joe? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I've been following the uh, the news cycle on it, so mm-hmm. it, uh, it it it's interesting. You know, it had it had let fewer players than like Suicide Squad. <laughs> the 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 population on Steam was <laughs> was abysmal. It was abysmal. Um, people were reporting how they were playing lobbies over and over again against the same people. And it would take several minutes at a time to get these lobbies and games like this. You, you want to be in like snap, snap, snap one after the other. Right. Um, that's what they're meant to be, but yeah, it just, it didn't have the base. Um, and we've talked at nauseum about why, it's but all about we've all got base. our... We've all got our opinions. It's also worth saying, though, there's other opinions out there. Some people do genuinely think that this game was was killed from the the hatred of it, from the controversy that this game sparked. Um, not many of us disagree, Not many of us feel that way in this Discord, but it's worth floating that, as that's one of the takes out there. So it's up to you to make your own opinion of, on why this game uh, failed. Um, yeah. But the I fact mean, the, of the matter the is, Steam, it has for now. The Steam uh, peak players. You know, for the past 30 days, like the peak players was 600. Mm-hmm. Oof. If, you look, if Oof. you look at like Steam DB, I mean, there's like 30, supposedly, what, 39 people? Players yeah. like right now. Oh, <laughs> Currently well, right yeah, now. it's closed now. They would just be in the start screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, the, the way the cookie the crumbles. Was 690. You know. I think SPG brought it up. Um, <clears throat> PlayStation was ready to roll this dice. They had the money to do it. They're going to release 12 of them. And if two of them hit, then their investment yeah. will have paid off. And I think that's the strategy we're going to see. And that's why they are so ready to pull it uh, two weeks after. Um, We've talked but... about that ad nauseum as well, haven't we? Yeah. All these mid-year games coming out. And as long as one of them sticks, who cares?